Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we will be studying about stacks using the Python programming language. So we are on chapter 3 for class 12th computer science with Python and today we are starting with the concept of stacks. So now what is a stack? A stack is basically a data structure. Now you would like to know what is a data structure. So any organization of data or uh, anything that defines how data will be stored, how data will be accessed, what are the operations that are possible on the data that is uh, being stored at a particular location is known as a data structure. So uh, a list that we studied in Python is a data structure, a string, a tuple, a dictionary. Each of them are data structures because we know how different elements are stored in those uh, data structures and how uh, these elements can be accessed, how these elements can be retrieved, changed, modified and we know what are the properties of each of these elements. So we know that uh, in a list we have an ordering of elements. So every element is defined by a particular index and in a dictionary which is another kind of data structure the elements are basically identified in pairs in the form of key value pairs okay so a data structure is any kind of organization of data okay and that organization not only tells you what kind of data is stored how that data is stored but also the operations that are possible on that data okay so this was what is a data structure now we have seen that a stack is also a data structure so it must also have a very specific organization of a data and operations to access data that is present in the stack so let's now study what kind of data structure is a stack so a stack is a linear data structure and by linear I mean that elements that are present in a stack can be accessed in a sequential order. So you cannot randomly pick any element out of the stack and then you know perform operation on it. You need to access those elements in a sequential order okay. And the most important property of a stack is that the elements from the stack can only be added and removed from one end from one end means from one side only so if you uh, say have a stack then you can add the elements only from the right hand side and also remove the elements from the right hand side you cannot access the other end of the stack so we will visually see how a stack can be imagined and understood but for now you need to keep this very important property in mind that a stack has elements it has multiple elements it can have a single element also but in either case the elements are added and removed only from one end and this end is generally known as the top of the stack okay so um, as we saw that a stack is a linear data structure and that means the elements must be accessed in a linear order that means sequentially okay now let's uh, come to some examples of a stack so uh, for example say you visit a wedding and uh, the wedding has a lunch or a dinner and there are plates that are available for the guests to take their lunch in now the pile of plates can be said to be a stack okay it, you can refer that pile of plates as a stack why because <clears throat> when you are uh, creating the pile you put the new plate on the top of the previous plate and whenever a guest has to take a plate he or she also takes the plate from the top okay because it is very inconvenient to take from uh, the a plate or an element out from the bottom from the middle or from any random location so that is why in a pile of anything you generally put or add things to the top and you remove from the top okay so we can say a pile of plates is a stack if it is following this property that the addition of new plates and the removal is happening only from one side now a pile of glasses that happens to be in your kitchen is also a stack because generally you put one on top of the other and if you want to use a glass you take out the topmost element and then use it okay 
another very interesting example is the bangles worn by a girl or a lady on her wrist so uh, whenever you put the bangles in on the hand you uh, put it one from one side only okay so you insert it maybe from uh, right to left and when you take it out you will remove the bangle that you inserted the last so the bangle that was inserted on the hand on the wrist uh, the the you know at the last will be the first one to come out so that is why we say that the stacks also operate on the principle of last in first out any element that was inserted at the last will always be the first one to come out so the glass that was put on the top that was the last glass that was put on the pile of the glasses will be the first one to leave will be the first one to be used and uh, taken out and similarly with the case of the bangles the bangle at the front will be uh, removed and there is no other way of removing the bangles you know without breaking them or hurting yourself so that is why we say stack follows lifo principle that is last in first out and that means the elements that was most recently inserted will be the first one to be removed so this is a characteristic that identifies the operations the ideology of a stack so anything that uh, follows lifo principle is generally known as a stack so let's see how we can imagine a stack we generally imagine a stack like this so it is basically a an a uh, uh, rectangle which is open from one end so you can always insert elements from this end and you can also remove elements from this end so the only one end is active and you can insert elements on top of each other but when you have to remove any element you will have to remove the topmost element so consider this was a stack and we inserted the first element say a now after inserting the first element i want to insert the second element so i'll insert the second element on top of the first element so the stack has two elements a and b now if i want to insert the third element i'll put it on top of the second element so the third element c is put on top of the second element b so the stack now has a b c so in either case if i want to access the topmost element i will use the same end and remove from it then after removing c only then i'll be able to access the second element and only after removing the second element i'll be able to access the first element so since i inserted c at the last i was able to take it out first <clears throat> and a was inserted the first it will be come out coming out the last okay so now let's see few applications of a stack in computer so how is actually a stack useful in a real life computer situation so for example if you have to reverse a string then what you can do you can use a stack and you can insert each character of the stack in the string and then when you take out the characters remove them from the top one by one you will uh, get the string in the reverse order so for example you had the string abc so you first in uh, in the stack input a then you input the second element of the string ab and then you put all the three elements present in the string abc now when you pop out or you, when you start removing the elements from the stack first you will get c then you will get b and then you will get a which is the reversed string okay so this is how a stack can be used for reversing a string in computers now another common application is the undo and redo operations that we perform and we have these options almost in every uh, application that we used so basically the computer stores a list of operations that we are performing and that list follows the lifo principle so it is a stack so if we are performing a function a or operation a it is put in the stack then we perform operation b but now we have we want to undo it we want to remove operation b and get back to the state where we performed operation a so 
this particular operation will be popped out of the stack. So only we'll come back to the previous version which is the operation A. So removal of the topmost operation from the stack will bring us uh, to the uh, previous operation and that is what the undo operation is and similarly the redo operation. Another application is uh, the back button that you have in browser. So for example, you are visiting page A, then you visit page B in a browser, then you visit page C. Now if you want to go back to page B, what the computer does, it actually maintains a stack of the pages, the links that you have been visiting and once you want to go back, it will just pop out the current uh, page from the stack and what you will be left with is at the top of the stack the previous page that is the page B. So you will get to display uh, that particular page using this link B. So this is how back button works in browser using a stack. And similarly we can also check whether a string has matching parentheses, whether the pair of parentheses is complete in a complex string using a stack also. And the last thing for the day is that the end from which the elements are added or removed in the stack is known as the top of the stack. And I've told you this. So uh, I think that is all about introduction to a stack. Uh, I hope you have understood the concept of stack. In the next video, we will be studying about different operations that can be performed on stacks. Okay. So I hope you like this video. Please let us know in the comment section if you are understanding this concept. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.